Hey everyone, it's me. I just wanted to let you all know that Ma's, my boyfriend's mother, her brother is, is having horrible things with his leg and the doctors are having to, you know, amputate or something, but he's not letting them. He's not letting the doctors just wanting to cut it off or something. He's got, I really don't know what it is, but it's really horrible and it's hurting Ma. It's really hurting his, his mother. It's just horrible. I really am worried about him and Ma as well. And I'm also even more worried about him and Gramps. <laughs> They haven't even gotten their surgeries yet. I mean, Graham hasn't gotten her foot surgery done, and, well, Graham's even still hasn't gotten his screws in both of his sides of his neck. I just really don't know what I'm going to do without them, without Graham and Gramps, and uh, it's bad enough that Ma lost her daddy years ago, and then her husband? Well, Man, that's even way worse. It's like my childhood all over again with the way how I saw their, her husband and Addison's dad. I mean, really. I'm really just worried about Ma as well, and now she's losing her brother from Mako? I just really don't know what, what uh, I can do. Please, people, I'm just asking you, please, just, just please pray for her pray for her brother as well and mostly for Ma and for my grandparents too Grandma and Gramps I, it's bad enough that I lost our daddy slash Lindsay's step daddy years ago and then Gigi and Papa and now Ma's losing her brother I don't even want to lose Grandma and Gramps I just really don't know what I'm gonna do and people, again, who are really saying horrible things or just are really annoyed by me saying, Oh, hey, just please stop. <laughs> I am begging you, please. Just, if you are really judging me by being a bully, I'm not. I am not a bully. And right now, I don't deserve any horribleness right now. I really don't. And neither does my boyfriend and boyfriend's ma. Yeah. She's really been through heck ever since she lost her dad and now she's lost her husband and now all oh, the doctors, oh those doctors are not being helpful. I can sue them. I really just don't even know if I wanted to sue the people who couldn't help their dad. I really just like this. It's really horrible. If any of you who've ever gone through something like this before in your family or knew a friend as well, please let me know in the comment section. But mostly of all, please pray for Ma and her brother. Please. I am just asking, please, please just pray for her. I need positiveness right now. And please pray for Grandma Gramps too. Please. I really don't want any trouble. I don't. I really don't want any trouble with anyone. And what W-RA3 said, again, did not, was again about me, is all a lie. I am not a horrible person. She can sue me, yeah, her lawyers, she's trying to get her lawyers to, you know, do something to me or throw me locked up in a birdcage. I mean, really, I've been through jail before. I have been through there, I was in there for like three days, and for what's, and for one thing, I have this other user, W dash, no, sorry, this other user, Mr. Martin Black 9, who I think is British or Australian, I don't really know, but he said in the comment section that he, I think you should go stand in traffic and and just probably he wants me to get hit by a car, I guess. And then he even said, you know what? I'm very su not surprised that you were not a victim, one of the victims in the elementary school shooting. 
He's insane. He seems like I even then asked him if he wants me dead. And then I said, you want me dead, don't you? And he said, yes, that would be like the perfect birthday present. <laughs> that guy's crazy. Man, even my boyfriend said as well that he can, that I should call the police. I don't even think they can be helpful. I'm not even sure if I can trust the police. <laughs> Please. I don't want any trouble and I don't, I am not a bully. I don't want any trouble with anyone. I don't want any trouble. I don't want anyone to get hurt and I don't want anyone dead. Even my boyfriend said to me that there are so many times I'm wanting to beat these people dead. And I said, honey, that is way too out of line. That is way too far. Honey, I swear, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt them. I don't want them dead. That is way too crazy. I am not wanting to become a killer. I made a promise to our daddy slash Lindsay's stepdaddy that I promised him I, do, I would not become a killer. I don't want anyone dead, but all I want is peace. I don't want any trouble. I don't even mean to confuse anybody either online. I even get sidetracked and I even get confused from what I say and, uh, to other people. Please, I don't want any trouble. And this other person, Simon Fox, he said that I'm a bully and he's mentioning, he's even saying that I'm like this character Donna, from uh, Holly Oaks, Donna Marie, because of my hygiene, my teeth. Uh, believe me, I really need to take responsibility on that. I really, really need to take responsibility on my hygiene, but it's not that easy. When I was living at this community place called the Mary Lee Foundation, everyone was doing everything for me, including Graham and Gramps, but I was never really, I was never really responsible. I was never responsible on my own, taking my own actions or my hygiene. Not even brushing my teeth. I... I really dislike myself for not being responsible. I just like it. But right now, I am not telling you, I am not a bully. I am not. I don't want to see anyone get hurt and what people are saying about me is not true. I do not want anyone to see anybody get hurt. I do not like bullies and neither does my boyfriend. He is confusing at times, and according to my counselor, Mary, she did say that boys are confusing and hard to understand, and then I said, not just males, but females too. I wouldn't be too sure on non-binaries, even though people do say that non-binaries don't exist, but they do exist. Only, again, if it's, if it's confusing to people what non-binaries are, it's not pronounced he or him or her slash she, it's pronounced them slash they, even though it's only one person. But still, please. I am not a bad person. I am not a really, I'm not a bully, and I don't want anyone to get hurt. Please. For those of you who are saying horrible things about me in the comments section, and are also on Facebook about this page, about the Facebook page, or uh, making threads about me, saying, here before Chessie Linden, also spelling my name wrong with an A at the end, it's mainly with an with a Y at the end. Ugh, people really need to get that right. I I am not a bully. I don't want any trouble. Please, stop. I am begging you, please, just stop. In the meantime, please, just pray for Grammy Gramps and Ma's, and Ma's brother, please. And again, um, Ma is, at, I know I, it's confu if it's confusing you guys when I say Ma, it means Espanol for, it's Spanish for mom. And he's, she's not my mother, but I see her as a replacement to our, bio, our birth mother. Because our mother always treated me like a punching bag. And our daddy slash on the stepdaddy, including our older half-sister Lindsay, the same exact way. 
She never did that to my one year and a half full blood related little sister, Macy. I seriously do not like it. Even this, even Simon Fox said that he was glad that I was treated like a punching bag by our mother. I didn't deserve it. I was a kid. I was a child. Kids do not deserve to be treated that way. I just really do hope that this user W-R83 aka Winter again does not treat her twins like that. Again, I do not want her to be I just really I don't I don't know much about her, but all I know is that she's trying to get me locked up by t calling her lawyers or something. Ugh. She's just really crazy. But I'm not. I am not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not. But again, please, just pray for right now. I don't deserve to be hurt, to be hurt verbally, and I don't deserve to be even locked up. Please, just don't hurt me. Don't say horrible things or spread lies about me. I'm not a bully. Right now, I do not deserve this. Especially for what Graham and Gramps are really going through as well, and especially Ma. Ma does not deserve this most of all. Please. Please, don't. And please, just please pray for her. Please pray. Do whatever you can to help her. Please. I love Ma, and I love... I even loved their dad, but I know again, no one can really replace our daddy slash Lindsay's stepdaddy, and I'm never willing to. I really miss him every day and night. I really just wish he would, they both were still here. <laughs> just please pray for, for them, all three of them, all four, sorry, all four of them, please just pray for all four of them. I am begging you, please, please, just, just do something that you can do, please. I am begging you, please, just pray for them. Please. <laughs> I love, I love Ma, and I, she does not deserve this either. She does not deserve this one bit. And neither does her family. Please. Please, I am begging you. Please. Pray for her. If you, again, know anybody who's ever gone through anything like this as well, just please let me know in the comment section. Please. And please also pray for... Let me know as well in the comment section that you will pray for her. And her brother. And also, Addison's pa, his family side, is not speaking to them anymore, all because he's gone. I mean, they were only speaking to them because of, because when he was still alive. I mean, this is unfair. Even Uncle Angel is not even speaking to them anymore either. It's really confusing. I mean, I really wish I could have vlogged what how he Uncle Angel was feeling at the when I was vlogging the funeral. It's it's really sad mostly for him and the rest of his family, but he didn't even want to let go of the coffin. I mean, can any of you blame him for at least doing that? I know I can't. No one can. I especially can because he was his brother. I really do miss both of them. I really am worried about Ma most of all. But please, all of you, please, just please pray for all four of them. I worry about them. You don't have to worry about me. If you do, then also please worry about my family and their and Addison and his family too. Whether we're married or not, I whether we're married or not, I still say that she is my family and I still care and love her. I especially care about Adriana and her 
beautiful baby. If any of you are also wor uh, wondering, again, how her baby's doing, just let me know in the comment section as well. Again, um, I really would like to know your, you know, uh, opinions on that also. <laughs> please, just, um, just please pray for them. I really do care. And I especially care about everybody who's also else who's been bullied and harassed. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Please. Anyway, please just be positive in the comment section and let me know about if any of you have ever gone through this or if anyone in your family has ever gone through this as well. This is Chelsea Nicole Linden signing off.